top of the time zone, everybody. This is Freddie J. Part of Freddie J Sports. This is round two of the Q School Final at TPC Boston. We last left off at round one, two under. And now we're going to go back at it. Get started. We made a lot of adjustments from the last time we start. Uh, from the fitting of some of our clubs to uh, club adjustments itself. We've added a four iron to our bag. Hopefully that will work out. And a lot more up in store. So I totally forgot what I was going to say there. But disregard all that. We're here at TPC Boston. Hopefully we get started. Round two. It's Black Friday. And we're going to be in our black shirt today let's get started par four 363 yards we changed up the archer type too so that way we have more rhythm look at that perfect i thought that was the crowd in the bunker like what's the crowd doing in the bunker y'all having a sand party or something 299 yards on that drive. Here's our second shot. 64 yards to the cup. Now I'm going to use my uh, shot creating magic to put some spin on this. Now, although we have our archetype set up for rhythm, that doesn't mean we don't stop and get complacent on our shots. We got to make sure we still hit it correctly. Now this is 13 feet for the pin with a left or right roll. And there we go. Starting off the round with a birdie. We go three under. Hey, there we go with a fist pump. That's how you want to start off. Now we're going to apply pressure. Currently tied for fourth. Two strokes off from the lead. Now here we are at the second of par five here at the TPC Boston. Got a little dog leg to the right. A little bit of wind headed that way as well. And that one's too fast. This is what I was talking about being complacent. This one might be in the rough. First cut, not bad, but that's still not what we were looking for. We might have to consider laying up on this next shot. Going with a three wood in the in the rough let's see if this works out well nice solid contact this one might be in the rough but we're gonna get some yardage well that might be in the bunker but it's okay we have yardage so that's the main thing we were working about we know we was gonna have to lay up but at least we're laying up somewhere close here's a splash attempt here Oh, no, this one very much to the right. This one might not even stay on. That's in the rough, but it's okay. This is for birdie. We've made shots like this before. Let's see if we can do it again. Not quite. This is for par. This one's a doozy. Whoa, wrong club. This one's going left to right. We cleaned it up. Didn't land on a single fairway. But we still made par. Still at three under. Now here we are at the third of par three. This is going to be a test to see whether or not we have good ball striking right here with the tempo. As now we have the three iron actually working with us. But the wind is now starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, let's try to bend it a little bit so that way uh, we have some counteraction. 203 yards. Put some air underneath it. Make it play a little bit. Oh, that's a nice solid shot. Let's see if that's the right club. Nice move. Nice strategy right there. Eight feet. Just about knock it in. 
There you go. Birdie. Make up for that mistake on the second. Now, moving four under. Still two strokes off from Daniel McGuire and Alex Galipsi. I definitely got dyslexic on that name, but here we are. Here we are at the fourth. This is potentially a drivable par four. However, there's not a lot of landing room to go with here. So let's see how he plays this. Going with the driver. He's ready to risk it all, honestly. And that is not going anywhere near that green. That is going in the sand. I don't think he's yet to land where he wants to, but this is a very forgiving hole since it's a short one. You can just chip this one out. See how he does it. Uh, that still came off a little bit to the right. This one's a solid knock-in for birdie. Oh! Oh! Guess he saw a little bit of a break there, but it didn't break. We'll keep par. Still two strokes back. Tied for third. Now here at the fifth at TPC Boston. A uh, solid strike. Might be going a little bit to the right. Let's see if that stays in play. That ball is long, but maybe... Almost a little bit too long there. Still got 330 out of that. All right. Looks like this one's going to be a doozy here. 156 yards. Wind might help. That's a perfect. Though the landing might be questionable. Oh, that's a good shot right there. And based on how that stayed put, it looks like uh, the putting is going to be a little bit easier. Yeah, not a lot of turn here, but just to be careful. Getting birdie would be great here. Well, based on that read, based on how... how Based on how long that putt was from the ball was from the hole, moving it that far to the right was very valid. Because as you can see, the, the ball was continuing to turn, and the more distance you have between the ball and the cup, the more likely it's going to break. So good call. Unfortunately, did a little bit too much, but it was a safe call. This one was extremely fast, and this is very unfortunate because despite having the rhythm archetype, you still have to pl play decent uh, tempo. If you don't have a good tempo, then that's then it's really, as the gamers would call it, a skill issue. Because at that point, that's on you. The game will give you so much forgiveness... But when you push too far, it's going to cost you. Here we are getting it out the rough. Whoa, that might not make it. Nope, into the water. Despite clubbing how much up? That's going to be one of the penalties you're going to have to deal with. Got scared there, but this one still might have a chance to get close. And that is a good, good on-the-fly adjustment. This is for Bogey, the first one of the day. This is going to set us back. At least we finish it up for that and nothing worse. Going back to three under, let's see how that was going to look on the leaderboard. Tied for fourth. Three strokes back. Only through six, though. We still have a lot of ground to make up. Still a lot of chances to catch up. Like right now on a par five.
that sounded beautiful. However, it's going to the right. I don't know if we're going to get a lucky kick here. That's going to be in the thick stuff. Really try to take advantage and try to bend it back. But unfortunately, that's not how it worked out. Going to have to lay up on this par 5. And that might not help either. Well, despite trying to play it safe, we still ended up in a rough. Despite it being a light rough, that's still going to cost us a little bit of mind games right now. Third attempt. Better. Still going to the right, and it's not going to be on the green. Ball striking still a factor here. You still got to hit it straight. See if you get some good spin here. A little bit too fast. Oh, no breaks. This is for par. Got it done. Try to take advantage of it being a par five. Could not do it. Still par. Now we drop back. Tie for third. As Alex now takes the lead all by himself. Seven under. Now here's a par three here. Everything about this hole is going to the right. The wind, the green. Got to make the right adjustments here. With a three iron. Actually calling an audible. Whoa, we did not bring the three. We did not bring the four iron. My mistake. That one's a whippersnapper. It's going to be on the green, but let's see how this rolls. Oh, no. We, looks like there isn't going to be any roll. Let's see how this does. All right, this one's going left to right. Let's see how much. 27 feet. To the cup. Good look, but a little bit too much aiming high on that one. However, we're fortunate enough that this is for par instead of bogey. That's a good thing about hitting a green and regulation. Alex is losing a stroke on that one, so it's back down to three strokes behind the leader. Now here we are at the ninth. Already speeding by a lot here. So that's good. Playing fast golf. However, that is not good, but it it's gonna be on the fairway. A little bit too fast in that tempo. Now, here we are with the 8-iron. Is the 8-iron going to be the, the right club? As long as we hit it correctly. That may not cut it. That one's way too far, and this one's also going to be short. So, double whammy on that. That's a nice shot right there. This one's looking real good. Real good. Less than a foot to the pin, and that's going to be for par. What a recovery right there. Will remain three under. Meanwhile, Alex must have made an eagle. Five strokes ahead. All right, so we're kind of in the in-between area. We've been hitting fast shots all day. As we reach the back nine, time to think about what we're going to do here. 
Should we play for that or we should play for the wind? Let's see if that... Well, that... Because of how it went... Because of that flight... It pretty much corrected itself right down the middle. However, we can't... We can't take those for granted. This one I'm going to aim to the right. Play for the fast. This time we get it slow. And this one might not make it onto the green. Well, it stays, but this is going to be a very long putt now. Forty feet. Last few times we overshot it, and it still missed to the right. This time, tightening it up a little bit. Let's see if that's going to be the right play this time. Oh, that one's a fast one. That one was underneath the hole, but that, that's that's a fine putt. That was a good read. We did almost everything right, honestly. Still three under. Now we're tied for seven. The projected cut line is at five over. Here we are at the par 3 11th. This one's uphill. We're going to hit a hybrid. Not the best strike in the world. As this one's going to be on the fairway, but this is a par 3, so we needed to be on the green. And because of being so short, we're going to have to chip this one a little bit closer than uh, what we uh, what we like to. That one was still too fast, but the brakes were applied. Now we're looking at this being under 15 feet. That might be actually, yeah, that's 8 feet right there. Just got to be careful with the speed. Solid recovery to make a par. However, we do like to see some birdies on the scorecard. We're going to be in contention here at the Q School Final through 11. Now tied for 8th. A lot more people are getting birdies now. Well, Alex dropping a, a stroke there. Time to figure out what to do here. That one's a slow... As we look at that swing path, that swing path is not looking good. That forced that one a lot more to the right than it needed to be. Now, this is a par 4. However, it's a lengthy one. A perfect! This one might have a chance to fight on the green. Well, that stayed in the air too long, so not quite. All right, here's a birdie attempt here. Very fast. I'm surprised that even made it close to the hole. For far. That trailed a little bit to the right that day. We almost got scared. Keeping it clean on the back nine. Pars only. Still tied for eighth. However, Daniel McGuire caught up to Alex. Right there in the front. Alright. Here's is a par four with some win on our side. Question is how we're going to play this one on the tee. Fast. And the win is not even going to be a regard. This one's going to the left. We still end up with 300 yards. So we got lucky there. Oh, 
Now we're back with a nine iron. That one's going left, but this one might be close to the hole. What a shot. A lot of forgiveness that time. This one's now for birdie. The first birdie of the front, the back nine. That one's going to drift in for the putt. Good birdie. Finally, some movement. That must have been a big sigh of relief to finally get a birdie on the scorecard. Now we're going to creep up a little bit closer. Three strokes back from the lead. Here we are at the 14th. That one's still a bit fast. This one might be looking... Oh, yeah, that's definitely in the rough. Maybe we get a kick to get it closer. But I don't think that matters. We was too deep. We could club up tremendously here. Going three iron. Yeah, three iron might be the best bet. There's no way we're going to get this one close with, with the five. That one's a perfect... But that might be perfectly placed in a bunker. Oh, no. I actually would rather... Oh, my goodness, this angle. Great escape right there, but that's going to roll a little bit more than we thought. This one just looks solid. I don't see a lot of movement until at the very end, but it's still going left. So let's go ahead, put this outside the, the left edge for 16 feet for par. Wow, it didn't break until afterwards. This is going to be our first Burt bogey on the back nine. So one step forward, two steps back, dropping back. To three under. Here you are at the 15th. 427 yards. We've been playing it fast all day. And this may be hurting our drives a little bit. Yeah, we've been playing it fast for most of the course. Minus that one perfect at the beginning. It may be hurting our chances right now. It's like no matter what tempo we try to put it at, it's still, still just way too fast in that downswing. We're lucky right there it didn't turn it for the worse. But this is still a long putt. And honestly, I'm not comfortable with this. 29 feet for birdie. Just leaving it a couple, maybe a cup on the right side. We left it short. This may punish us for that. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Just kiss the cup. Good read right there. That's a good par save. I mean, that was a great birdie attempt right there, but we, we really wish we had it. We have three holes left. And this one's a par three. We've had trouble here before. Not playing around with this one. Somehow that's fast. And somehow, well, we might see dry spots. Well, we're not in the water, so that's good. This one's looking real nice. You could stop right there. About eight feet. Five feet to the pin for par. Good save. Still at three under with two more holes left. As long as nothing freaky happens here, we'll be making a cut. Hopefully... 
we can make it inside the top 10. Maybe even the fifth, top 5. Going for this time, 383 yards. Going for the second tier of the, the fairway. This is the first time we're going to get a slow. Let's see if it's going to help us out. As it's going right in between. Wow. You played for the fast, and this time it wants to be slow. How ironic. 127 yards left. Wind's going south to the left of us. That's a perfect this time. This one's going to be solid on the dance floor. Going to get a good roll forward. 118 yards. This is for birdie. 27 feet. Looking good. Just missed to the left right there. Went a little bit too much on that, but this is for par. Got it done. Still three under. And now here we are at the 18th. Last hole, a par five. This is a long one. 518 yards. Not a lot of room here. This one is tremendously short this time. Very slow tempo. We was trying to dial it back because of the last... Most of the round, we played fastballs. Uh, this one is definitely going to hurt. Can't even attempt to go for it now. We have to play it safe and lay up. That one's a perfect. Let's see if it stops short. No, oh, no. All right. This is our eagle attempt right here coming up. That's a perfect, but I think that's still going to be short. Well, we're going to finish par on the back nine. That is not what we're expecting at all. Unless we can hold out here, that would be, be great. But That one is going to be extremely short. There's the fast we were looking for all throughout that hole. Now, this one's going to be a sketchy par because we did not put this one close at all. 18 feet to remain at 3 under for the tournament. That's looking close. Drops in. What a miraculous save right there. As we finish 1 under for the round. After 36 holes. We finished three under for the tournament. We're going to make the cut inside the top ten. Four strokes back from the leaders. This concludes our coverage of the Q-School Final Round 2 at TPC Boston. Appreciate everybody for coming out. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all like this kind of content.